it's half nine in the morning and uh, Marco and I are in the hangout. It's a little bit windy, so I might go and get a blanket. But it's a lovely, lovely day, sunny, but got a freshness to the air, which is perfect. I'm about to sit here, go through these recipes that I made yesterday for our friends that were really, really yummy. They were really yummy. And I'm just gonna write, do, I like to do this in my cookbooks. I'll do a smiley face, an indifferent face, or a bad face. Or I'll make little notes on who I made it for or what I thought. So for example, in here somewhere, let's find it. Look at all these yummy, oh, that was incredible. Everyone went mad for that. Here, look, I've written it on a post-it, but um, I've written small garlic clove. This was delicious, but oh my goodness, it stripped the roof of your mouth. Didn't do this last night. I did that a little while ago. Leftovers. Yum. Funny sunbathing. Baby's got his onesie on. <laughs> I'm going to talk sellotape again. <laughs> I've bought some secondhand apple crates to sort out the storage in my greenhouse, which is just dreadful. This is an acceptable amount of sellotape. That's, that is absolutely necessary. Well done, apple crates from eBay. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in my greenhouse because it's very windy outside, but I've got jobs to do. So, ugh, it's awful. Look at the mess I've made. It's like step toes yard. I've got greenhouse jobs to do, like pinching out the side shoots of my tomatoes and watering everything and tying them up. This one's going mental. Oh, horse. Hope they do a poo. I'll go out and get it. Where's my bucket? Don't know where I've left that. Yeah, I'm having a sort out. I've got lots of these apple crates so i shall have i think eight of them going underneath here i might even order some more because i think it's going to work really well and then i can label the crates as to what's in them i don't know which corner to start in oh well i think if i start in the corner by the door and then just systematically work my way up, packing away things that are staying in the greenhouse and putting outside the things that are going to go, like my mini chipper. It's gonna go in the shed. It needs new blades, it's not working very well. Got it off of um, Facebook Marketplace. It copes with the little things, but not with the bigger things. I'll show you when I've done a bit, all right? Oh, there's that mug. I was looking for that. Oh, and I'm also going to so, um, put on these. I've just pulled these out of the gravel. They are Verbena Borreliense. Oh, I can't say it. Verbena Put it on the screen. And they're those ones that grow really super tall. And the bees love them. And they have, they kind of waft in the breeze. And they've got purple flowers on the top. And I'm going to harvest the rest of my garlic. This is hard neck garlic. I need to Google what I'm supposed to do, how I'm supposed to clean them. I wonder if you're supposed to just rinse them in water. I don't know why I keep pulling face. I mean, I do pull faces, but I don't know why I'm doing it all the time on the vlog at the moment. Weird. 
I'm getting on an absolute treat in my greenhouse. Take a look. Look, you can see the floor. It's tidy. And I've trimmed the lower leaves off of my um, tomatoes and moved a few things around. Look, isn't it tidy? So pretty. I've brought the hammer and some nails out and I'm gonna put that up there. I think it'll look pretty. Um, I like that as a little display. I mean, why not make a functional place nice to look at? Why not? And, oh look, there's a garlic scape I missed when I was doing my pesto. I've just harvested my garlic. So now I've got to shake off all the mud and then leave them to dry somewhere co uh, cool and dark. And then in about six weeks, you can start eating it. Sorted all my plant pots out. Now I know I don't like plastic, but the thing is, you reuse them all the time. I don't like plastic as a display pot, but I think it's brilliant for um, seedlings and things. So I've organized everything. Everything's now neat and tidy in these apple crates. This one's got casters on it from ages ago. I don't know where I got the casters from though, but look how easy it's gonna be. And then when I want to get the things out the bottom, I just have to take the top one off and then it rolls back in. So I shall, when I go back to Home Sense to take back those things, I'll stop in B&Q and get some more casters. So I actually need to take a photograph of these ones because they're good little ones they are. Better measure them as well. I don't mind if everything's all different heights. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't matter if the wheels are too big or too small compared to these ones. But these ones fit really well. The bit that joins to the to the crate fits on the crate really well. So I'm nearly finished. I want to sort out my seeds, sort out my propagator, clean my root trainers. Then I've got to take this lot and put everything away. And then that lot there, sadly for the bin. Not the pots and the doodah. And gosh, it looks a right tip, doesn't it? Because my um, polystyrene's blown away. I keep those polystyrene to keep things warm when it's really cold. In the big tidy up, I found my hanging baskets. So I've hung them up here. And I think I'm going to go and get some tumbling toms. Yeah. Right, that's me done in this greenhouse for the day. Me and my garlic. This is a lovely combination of mud and garlic. <laughs> I'm going in, I'm going to find somewhere. It says somewhere cool and dark for it to cure for four to six weeks. Don't know that I've got anywhere cool and dark. I'll have to prowl around the house. Oh, I feel really good having got all of this done. And um, I've also, in sorting out the greenhouse, had a bit of a reshuffle in the shed because I had some shelves in here that I no longer needed, so I put them back in the shed. So now the shed's looking all tidy and sorted, although it has got the bell tent in it. And do you remember that plastic I was ranting and raving about? that they were the two boxes for our um, rag rugs for the bell tent. They're in there as well. So it's cluttered, but it's tidy. Oh, this feels amazing. Wonder what else I could go and sort out now. There's something small, because I'm pretty much been on my feet all day. Mm -hmm.